this video we'll talk about what if IIT jam doesn't work what to do then many of you have given the IIT jam examination and the results came out but the result was not really good for many of you and you didn't get expected rank or sometimes sometimes you are like in the borderline so in that situation you might be thinking whether to repeat or whether to take whatever option you get you might be depressed and thinking of what to do maybe your year would be lost if you don't get a seat this year so you must be thinking that let's take whatever option i get in my plate in this video we are going to discuss all of these options and whether to do or not and we are going to really analyze all of these things so stay tuned till the end and it would be really useful for you and going to add some value in your decision process so your entire decision has to be long term so whatever you take right now the decision you take right now has to reflect in your long term journey ask yourself whether you want to stay in academia or you want to go to industry if you want to go to industry after your msc your msc profile should be very good if you have a iit tag or any good tag in your uh, profile it might help you to get a job if you stay in academia it's also important that you have a very good profile but alongside good profile you need critical thinking ability and research aptitude so it's kind of not mandatory that you have a iit profile there are many successful researchers which don't have an iit profile i don't have a iit tag in my name but anyway so these two things you have to consider first and then ask yourself there are two options take a drop or take admission whatever option you are getting right now if you are thinking of taking a drop then it's a long process tedious process chances are you could get depressed in this process or you could learn many things during your dropout year so let's talk about what are the associated risk in dropping what are the benefits and what factors to consider before you are thinking of dropping out first you can identify where things have gone wrong last year so giving a dropout would give you enough time to identify where you have gone wrong what was not adequate so you can improvise on study you can improvise on your timings now there are two options you might have done self study last year which didn't work or you have might have taken coaching which didn't which didn't work question is like what really suits for you online coaching or self study nobody is honestly going to drill the concepts in your head and you have to learn it by yourself so you have to identify what type of person you are in terms of preparation you need a little bit hand holding or you are self sufficient you can always use the internet while preparing you can use several youtube channels educational channels which can make your journey easier one online option is basically using an academy which is india's biggest online platform and if you are worried about examinations an academy will get you covered with their lectures notes flashcards doubt clearing sessions and all of this would be super beneficial for you moreover they have mock test which would help you to prepare for the examinations if you want to take a subscription take subscription right now and prices would be uh, hiked very soon it would be hiked for 10% so that's quite a lot you can use my code ap10 to get a 10% off right now so your financial aspect is kind of taken care of in this online platform because there are a lot of uh, scholarship tests for example here there is a particular scholarship test for mathematics if you have a friend in mathematics you can share this link with them all the links are provided in the description all they need to do is either scan the qr code or go to the link and register with my code ap10 so you just need to download the app click on the link and use ap10 as a code to get access and they can definitely sit for the scholarship test and they can prepare for very low cost or almost for free anyway let's get back to the point like you are you might be thinking that you are super frustrated you don't know what to read you can't think a way out but with proper guidance and mentoring you might do it now right now one imp important piece of information is like there would be uh, there would be a crash course on gatb 
2022 not 2021 sorry how to tackle gatb 2022 in 30 days so you should take a subscription if you are planning for gatb 2022 because it is another examination besides iit jam which can help you to get into msc biotech programs now in the, let's say you are taking a drop in this entire year begin the year very productively first of all check out all the trends learn from this process and then use that analytical skill in preparation and this analytical skill is super important make your own short notes all of these things you know and in this process ask your friends to join because many of the cases what happens when you prepare alone things are really depressing but if you have other dropout friends and you have a group of friends who are all dropout things kind of ease out a little bit now during this dropout year the biggest problem is your self doubt you would be doubting yourself in and out you would be thinking your concepts are weak you are not good at this you cannot do it but you have to deal with this kind of self doubt and overcome this self doubt and beyond all of these things you have to think that these are exams your life is bigger than that so overall self study has a multitude of benefits it would first give you confidence then there would be no financial burden you can learn from your own mistakes and there are kind of like drawbacks as well because there are few concepts which are hard to understand by yourself now while doing self study you cannot ask your doubt to a person so you can do group study as well in coaching classes there are also many uh, advantages and disadvantages let me quickly tell tell that for you guys so it enables you to clear your concepts allows group study like experience the courses might be very structured so your time would not be wasted but sometime you have financial burden so both the approaches has pros and cons in your dropout year you have to decide what to take i would always strongly suggest that you should be whatever you take coaching or not you should be very confident on yourself and try to develop skills now coaching is going kind to of like a spoon feeding and the spoon feeding is might be important for a short term but it would be not good for your long term goal as if the coaching institute is provide a sub, uh, kind of like a certification of your ability right so you don't need anybody to tell that you are able or eligible for anything you know it yourself and you have to do it yourself so iit versus non iit tag is kind of like a myth so if you are thinking of job right now or you urgently need a job your financial situation need to improve then do not think of repeating and when it comes to iit tag you think it's really important but let me tell you the jobs would transfer into skill based jobs that means your skill set would be valued instead of your tags and this is how the job is going to be in next 5 years so start developing skills focus skills once you have skills nobody is going to look at where do you acquired from that skill from whether you acquired your skill from a iit or you have acquired your skill from any other institute at the end of the day what really matters is your skill sets you might have a brilliant uh, coding skill set you might have a brilliant presentation skill set all of these skill sets can really be valued in a job market so start building up skill i hope this video was useful and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can follow me on facebook you can support my channel in patreon feel free to connect to me in social media thanks for listening